Okay, <laughs> this is going to be an interesting video. It's going to be about 10 minutes, so bear with me. So, uh, last weekend, my willow tree shed a big old branch. It shed it onto the ground here. It was helped along by the wind storm that came through here. And um, I want to tell you about it, what it means to me. This is the branch that fell off. It's rather large. Anyway, there you go on that. <clears throat> this is my dilemma. I haven't had a lot of time to work out here, but I plan to uh, get on that, of course. But let me tell you about the, uh, the willow tree. So, um, willow trees are very, very valuable, and two main reasons, uh, and then many other reasons as well. But this is the deal. There's a uh, compound in them called uh, salicin, which is a main... Uh, property of aspirin you know the uh, pain numbing uh, over-the-counter drug so they have salicin in them what else they have in them which people don't really know as much as the salicin is they have auxin um, and auxin helps uh, roots to grow in other plants um, when applied which uh, which which is with with called uh, a root tea. So when you apply it, make a root tea from willow, and use it on other plants, it'll help the root root sprout through the auxin action. So that's two main important things. Um, they provide a lot of shade, um, and they provide wood. I almost think that. They're meant to shed like this because when they do, you get free wood. And apparently, if you take, um, uh, say, like a willow branch and you, you put it in water, it'll grow roots in about 10 days or so. And then you get a brand new tree which you can move around and keep going. So, um, this might look like a disaster, and a few years ago, when I didn't know any better, I would just have been pissed. But this is actually a bounty. I can have how many? Who knows how many new trees out of this? I'll have um, some wood for the winter. That main branch. That main branch. I would. I wish I could plant that in the water and be done, but it's too heavy for me to lift. Um, and so. This is actually a bounty. That's like the tree gave me some some wood and uh, this and that. It um, and uh, I got plenty of salicin. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be using that today. I'm, I'm not a big guy for painkillers, so um, it's something to consider. Uh, a willow tree is. Uh, it's actually um, sort of a high technology if you think about it. It's almost like a machine or a factory. Uh, all you got to do is provide water, soil, and, and uh, the sunlight, and it will use those to manufacture, uh, you know, like a painkiller, salicin. Um, it'll manufacture a root starter for your other uh, plants and stuff that have a little difficulty with that and it will give you shade and the other thing too is uh, this is a weeping willow I believe it actually weeps it drops sap light stuff uh, from I don't know where it comes out of the pores of the leaves maybe I'm not sure and um, so you don't want to park under it with your vehicles and stuff because not only you not only might, might you get sap, but you might get a branch on your vehicle 
Um, cause apparently they do break off. It's, it's actually pretty routine. Um, and it might be part of the reproductive process, you know, through, uh, cloning basically. It's cloning itself. It's pretty amazing. You know, I wish I could clone uh, other things, but it's just amazing technology. And it, I guess they're one of the most easiest, uh, trees to propagate. Um, you know, with the water method or the wet soil method. But yeah, look up those uh, terms, uh, salicin and um, uh, root tea. I used to think that, uh, you know, the, uh, the there's a biblical interpretation that if a, a tree or bush doesn't give you some kind of fruit, then you should get rid of it. Well, there's a case to be made for that, but there's so many things out there uh, in the plant and animal world, of course, and then probably insect world and et cetera, bacteriological. But everything on this earth has a use of some sort. It might not be as good as other competitive uh, co uh, organisms, but it, it has some use of some kind that's beneficial or detrimental. Um, so the trick is finding out what does what. And it's not just, not everything has to be food based to be useful. You know, a source of medicine and a source to propagate other food crops or other crops of some sort is very useful. So it's not just a literal interpretation like that, it'll help you out. So um, the reason I bring that as a, up is I had a, uh, ex-wife when we got this house she said don't cut down that tree even though it doesn't put out fruit and uh, I was thinking what the heck but I guess she thought I was going to be all literal but you don't you don't do that there's a reason for everything it may not be the reason you have or want but there's a reason of some kind so anyway this video is basically not about me, it's about the amazing willow technology. Look at that. If you look at it like a machine, those, those leaves are like solar panels. And the stalk and stuff, it's a support structure. And then when you chew on it, you get this salicin or you get the oxen if you make the tea. It's 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 a self-replicating machine. It's like nanotechnology. I mean, we're just as humans, we're just barely able to uh, make self-replicating um, biologics, and uh, just not even there as far as cloning ourselves, hardly, or making. Um, it's 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 basically biotech where you can grow what you want instead of manufacture. That's that's the uh, the new uh, uh, horizon on technology is you grow things like you would you would grow a truck or you would grow a lawnmower um, or you'd grow a sun oven. Um, we're not there yet, but I can ha show you how to grow uh, salicin and oxen for your purposes. So even though it's not a human designed machine called a willow tree, it, it is a designed machine that will produce, you know, shade, wood, uh, uh, chemical compounds, um, and it's self-replicating and it, it looks after itself so in a lot of ways so just something to think about it don't just think of it as a useless plan or whatever it's just another little thing that's that's you could spend a lifetime learning about it but I looked up those terms and uh, I got my work cut out for me I got to preserve some of these uh, future willow trees okay take care